Hello everybody and welcome back to Garden Flipper. <sighs> what have we got today then? Let's have a little look, shall we? See if I can... Uh, I still feel that I, I haven't quite gotten to grips with everything. This is a really big um, expansion to House Flipper. And I, I actually feel that in a way there's more to learn about the garden stuff than there is about the house stuff, to be honest. The house is just like paint, put stuff together. It was quite easy. But the garden stuff, I feel, is a little bit more involved. So I'm going to do a couple more of these um, quests before I start free, free, freestyling it. Yeah, freestyling it. So we want open air cinema, bands in the garden, or my garden after husband mowing. Oh, I remember reading this one. This is quite funny, so I think I'm going to do this. So I asked my husband to mow our lawn, and probably for the first time since the wedding day, he did more than he had to. Unfortunately, my flower beds went into oblivion. So yeah, my husband wrecked all her flower beds, seemingly. So <laughs> let's go and deal with that, shall we? Go and make it nice again. I, I never know when I do these things. Oh, it's a lovely garden, to be fair. I never know when I do these things exactly what I'm getting myself into. So looks lovely. Are we kind of messed up the lines there a bit um all right place a hammock got some concrete paving slabs in so it's messed up the paving there i guess doesn't look like there's anything to do down here Okay, so this is this is number one. So seven chrysanthemum, nine geranium, six gazania. Oh, I see what's happened. So she's kind of wanting it symmetrical. So she's wanting me to do lines of those, six of those, and then. All right, okay. We'll try and plant these in exactly the right place for her because uh, I, I, I feel for her. So I think these daisy looking things here, um, they must be the chrysanthemum. The yellowy ones, I think, are geranium, but they don't look like any geranium I've ever seen. They look a bit different, but uh, I think that's what they would be. Unless, oh no, these ones down here might be the geranium, actually. They look a bit more like a geranium than... And the gazania. Okay, well, let's see if we can find out which one's which. So let's say gazania. There we are. I apologize if I'm saying this wrong. So the gazania are actually the... Okay. Yeah, leaves look like that. Okay. Let's go and see what, which ones they are. All right. Yeah, they're definitely these ones, but they need to be in like a green and yellow. Okay, so are those the chrysanthemums then? They probably are, and they're in a sort of yellow colour. I think if I put the chrysanthemum first, that will give me the best line. It might still be hard to work it out, but never mind. Okay, so... Um, chrysanthemum. I can't spell, I missed out the Y. I don't think it's the full ones, I think it's these ones, and they're in a yellow... I believe that's right. So buy many. So they're like this. So I need to put two in around here, look. One. Two. Oh, do I not have to plant them? Do I just like stick them on in? Well, that's easier. Okay, that's about right, I think. And then, so I'm just along this border here. Oops. Hopefully they're fairly symmetrical. You're never gonna get it perfect, but you know, we'll try and get it reasonable. <coughs> and then it looks like there's four of those around the tree now are they is that in the right place for me to be 
That doesn't look like it's in the right place. I reckon I actually might need to move that slightly. Because it looks to me like it's one, two, three, four there. Okay, so I need to get these, and these are the gazanias. Gazania. As I say, I'm probably saying it wrong, but... And it needs to be... Oh, okay. But those are white with like a pink on them. Oh no, okay, they are the same. They are the same, it's fine. So, I want to maybe rotate that a bit. I don't think that'll look better the other way around, actually. I know, I'm being really, really fiddly with this. Two. <clears throat> and then, actually, we'll shift rotate. Yeah, that's a bit quicker. Three. Four. And then... That one. That one doesn't look like it's in a very good place either, to be honest. One. Two. Just trying to make it look kind of nice. Three, four. So that's those. And then my geraniums. Oh yeah, yeah. I was right with the geraniums. Which ones? Were, which ones were geraniums? I do know something about gardening a little bit. Not, not a lot, but. Now then. Those don't look very geranium-like, uh, like compared to the ones I've got at the moment. Okay. They look more like they're green, honestly, the ones that I've got down there. They look like they're green. Are they red, maybe? Maybe they're like a pink? Let's try the pinky coloured one. Dark red. Are you dark red? Yes. They are dark red, I think. So I want uh, one, two, three, four in a row. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four in a row. Kind of like, are they kind of, yeah, they're kind of over the paving a bit. So one, two, three, four. They're looking fairly symmetrical. Although the, I think I planted those a bit too neatly, to be honest. Oh, there's only room for three there. I actually might pick one up and put it slightly over there we are. Can you put some around the other side? Yes. How come there's only... They only asked me to put another two down, but we clearly need like another seven or eight. It doesn't matter. I will just... I will put in the amount I need to make it symmetrical. Because that's the sort of person I am. Uh, it would help if I did a by many, wouldn't it? I only really fit about three in there, so that's fine. I, I don't know why I could fit four on the other side so much more easily, but we'll just do three. There. Those look very pretty. So we've done everything we need to there. Okay, so that is zone one done. So where's zone two? We're going to do them in order, like, like a person that actually knows what they're doing. Where's zone two? Are you zone two? No, you're zone five. There's only three. Um, where's zone two then? That's zone four. Eh? Where's zone two? <clears throat> three, five. That was zone one. So we have one, three, four, and five. As far as I can tell. Oh, well. We'll go for zone three then. Maybe I'll find zone two. Oh, I can see. No, it's, oh, oh, we're in zone two. Zone two's massive. Right, 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 right. Okay. 100 times 25 concrete pla paving, concrete paving slabs. 100 by 100 ones. Oh, gosh. I don't know how it really intends me to fit those. And then I need to put some tables and stuff down. So I definitely need to do the concrete paving slabs first. I will try the hundred by hundreds first. That could be could be a mistake. Luckily, I can pick them up and move them. I think. Hundred by hundred. Is this one? I don't know. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that seems to, to fit in well. So, how many do I need to put down? Twelve, twelve of them. All right. That's an awful lot to lay in this tiny space. So, like one, two, three, four. One. Even if I cover that whole space. Oh, or do we need to go out here? Probably need to go out here. Okay, that would make more sense. Now, the question is, you right? Best thing to do, I think, would be to start there. And there. I mean, I can always move them. Ah, yes, it looks like we're doing it this way. Okay. That will work. That will work nicely. Okay, I'll see if I can maybe edge the... Oh, maybe I was meant to put the 10 by 25 ones in at the edges. Maybe that's how that was meant to go. I'm not really sure. You kind of have to guess what it wants, really. I kind of think that maybe this area is meant to have some patio as well. I'm not entirely sure how that's meant to go. Um, he has kind of messed up the grass there, hasn't he? I'm trying to think what I can do to make that nice. And doesn't that really allow me to overlap them either? So say I did that. I wouldn't be able to put that there. Oh man. I mean, nightmare to sort that out. Gee. I do think these need to be a bit further over. And I think that the 425 by whatever's are meant to go there. I'm just not sure exactly what's intended here, what the design intention is. Like, obviously, if I was doing this for myself, I would make up my own design intention. But, like, when I do these ones, I feel like I have to kind of try and work out what the dev wanted me to do. And I'm never quite sure. I'm going to pick that one up and shove it over here. Um, let's get some more. I need to put down, like, 12 of them. So it's quite a lot. That's, that's just nine. I kind of feel like I need to just pick these up and move them away. I can go somewhere else. For now, anyway, I can go there. Okay, uh, this is my new patio area, guys. This is this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if it's correct or not. No such thing as correct, right? When you're designing, it's kind of like concrete over this whole bit. And I'll put some of those edging ones down as well, it's fine. Don't worry about this, it's fine, I've got it. I'm totally in control. Oh, I feel like I need to move that.
What? It wants me to remove four concrete paving slabs. Oh. So they were meant to be removed. I see. I can't read. I, that's the second mistake I've made today where I've not been able to read. So, so now I get the idea. We're supposed to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight. Um, yeah, it was definitely to do this patio area here. 100%. But only up to there. And all the way out to here. Okay. I got some moving to do then. Definitely got some moving to do. Of the entire patio, because I got it all wrong. So I was thinking I could use those little bits to, you know, sort things out. But no, I have to put these in, in exactly the right order. And I'm getting more of an idea, as I say, the creative vision behind what I was supposed to be doing. Don't worry, I would never have left that there. That was just horrible. Horrible, I tell you. What happened to my tile? Ah! Not sure that was meant to happen. That looks a bit buggy to me, to be honest. Sorry about this redoing of things like this. It, it seems to happen on a regular basis. As I say, generally because I've not read something or I don't understand what's going on. I may need to move that one, um, that one there. I'm not really sure actually. That's in line with the path then. I almost kind of feel like I need to put some down there as well. But yeah, okay, so it's telling me I'm not allowed to put down little nice things to make this look better. So yeah, oh, you can just leave it like that. That's fine. See if I care. So I've got to put down a sofa and a poof and uh, all the tinto stuff basically so let's just type tinto and put all the stuff down so i need a tinto poof times two in fact why would i be putting that down first surely put down the table and the sofa first tinto it's a sofa yeah, it's quite big so maybe if i put that there that would make yeah, I think that's going to make it look a bit, like, better, honestly. She's probably got loads of stuff there. Anyway, she's got, like, too much garden furniture. I don't like that much furniture in a garden. But then again, as I say, maybe if you live in, like, California or something, it's different because, like... Uh, it's supposed to be, like, a tinto table. Oh, yeah. I know. I'll pop that right there. Doesn't look right somehow. No, this needs to go slightly tall. Ah, there we are. That gets it in line with the middle cushion, which is where it should be. And then let's put the poofs down. Tin to poof. Help if I could spell. Poofay. I need two of them apparently. On there. On there. So they're in line with the tiles. I don't entirely know if I like that, but we'll see. I feel like it's just cluttered with furniture. I would not have chosen that myself. But never mind. So I need a, a, a melody hammock. I want a hammock in my garden. I want a melody... In, oh, mel... Mel... Oh, Melod. Okay, it's just a Melod. I thought it was a Melody hammock, but no, it's a Melod hammock. 
So I feel that that needs to be kind of this way around. Under the tree, so you get a bit of shade. Like that. I feel like that is a good hammock placement. Right. And so then it's just number... I actually really hate that. <laughs> how have I even managed that? And how do I manage to me mess up that tile so much? I have no idea. If that was me or what. But I also don't like the fact that the edging on this garden is all messed up. I almost want to re-roll the turf, but it's not asking me to do it. And yeah. So I'm not going to. Um... So we did number three. Number four is place a creeping dense coniferous shrub. That should be easy. Creeping dense. Hey, it's the only one. And it only wants me to put one in, so that's fine. Oh, I see. Finding a place to put it is apparently the, the challenge here. Aha. If I turn it, I'm allowed to put it in. Lovely. Dig, dig, dig. Gorgeous. Gorgeous and lovely. That's all done. All right then. I want to take a picture of that bed in particular because I think that looks gorgeous. I'm going to take a picture of that for my thumbnail, I think, because that's the nicest part of the garden, as far as I'm concerned. That hammocks and stuff around the edge. Bleh. Don't like those. I'll just get my tablet out. Go to camera mode. Takes a no, no, that's my gallery. It takes a picture. Photo saved. Yeah, I like that. That's that's the best part of this garden, I think. It's that bed. Right. So I've done that little tree. That was part four, I think, or three or something. So I've still got part three to do, apparently. So this is back here. I need to remove this, okay? This is the first one that I've actually... That's why I got confused with the paving. This is the first one I've had actually a, a, a job to remove something. Um, remove the granite paving stones. Three, two. She doesn't like these edging stones at all, eh? She wants me to remove those as well. But she doesn't want me to remove the barbecue, apparently. So I'm supposed to be planting two coniferous shrubs. I'm kind of thinking, I know she hasn't asked me to do this, that I, that I should move the, the grill onto the, onto the paving, and that would give me more room to plant these shrubs that she's wanting. So let's go and do that. So that is um, broadly conical. Broadly conical. By many, because I need two. That should go there, fine. And then we're on the other side. And make it kind of vaguely symmetrical. Not that the beds are symmetrical at all, anyway. That should do. In you go, soil around. Okay, I like this bit of planting as well. That's nice. All task complete, yes. Very nice. Five grand, very nice. Hundred percent, lovely. We'll have to find another quick one, because uh, this is what I always do. I end up with like a 20 minute one. I wanted to make like a 40 minute episode or so, and I end up one that takes like an hour to do afterwards. It's terrible. So open air cinema, that looks com com Bands in the garden. Mm. We could just clean a house. But I really want to do garden ones. 
Okay, so I'm writing to you on a matter of great importance. I'm an already an, sorry, I'm already an aged person and I need your help. My husband and I left, left for two months. We had a great time in the sanatorium. What? Okay. Unfortunately, during that time, some shady company visited our garden a couple of times. They made a terrible mess. There's vandals left cans and battle bottles all around our backyard and horrible scribbles on the walls. I can't stand them. As if this wasn't bad enough, our crops were eaten out. I feel so sad to look at my little vegetable garden now. The nettles themselves have remained. Luckily, they also did not destroy the flower beds. In the first place, you have to take care of the beer cans and mow the lawn. Additionally, I want you to plant some fruit trees. Okay, I think we could do that. I don't think that should be too long. She says, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What did they do? What did they do to your garden? Oh, my goodness me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my hose pipe out. And I'm going to like wash down these walls. Maybe I should take a photo of the messy garden. The messy pergola. Oh yeah, that's a good photo. I'm gonna take that just, just for pro posterity's sake, just in case. I also want to do that for the thumbnail. We'll see, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our work cut out for us really. So I'm gonna go around and just wash off all the graffiti first. Yeah, that's very satisfying to wash graffiti off. This doesn't come off this easily in real life, I'll tell you that right now. Not that I've ever had to clean graffiti, but I'm imagining it doesn't. Then I'll go around with my hands, with my very own hands, and me uh, clean up all the mess as well. Right, that's all the graffiti I can see for now. There might be. Oh, wait, there's a bit more. That didn't quite go. So get my hand out. I'll get rid of all this mess, because I'm very good at that. I can dispose of the trash cans. Now no one, now everyone has to leave mess on the floor. Ha ha ha. I have to mow the lawn without a lawnmower as well, because are they weeds? Apparently, wow. They look really pretty for weeds, but there, there are some weeds that do look really super pretty and you're like, that's not really a weed, right? Okay, uh, there's some more rubbish there. Luckily I have the Ugh, I missed some graffiti. Can I get them all? Mm, just one more bottle. Come here. Come here. Looks pretty now. Okay, so now I think I want to just get out that weed whacker. And off I go. Now it's very cool because uh, it tells me if I've missed a spot on my mini map now because I have got all basically all the perks except for the molehill finding perk. And I haven't been asked to remove any molehills yet. I don't know if that's actually even a thing, but maybe it will be later. I don't know. I have a molehill filled house somewhere. I can just see a little bit on the mini map there. I'm just going by the mini map now. Oh shoot. I think I may have got rid of the lavenders when I shouldn't have done. But does that mean they're weeds? Oh gosh. Okay. I might have to replace their lavenders because. Uh, I didn't realise that I had to be so specific. That's me. That's so terrible of me making that mistake. Oh no! I feel such a, such a vandal now. I didn't realise I. I thought it just didn't take. It only took weeds and not plants. I didn't realise it took plants as well, if you weren't careful, so now that is a lesson that I have learned. And I will not repeat. I might repeat. I'll have, I'm going to have to put those lavenders back in, because I feel bad. Oh gosh. I think these are flowers. So I think what needs to happen then... You know, it says pick up to move remove weeds by hand but 
if I want to to do that, I need to take them out of the way and replace them, I think. I don't think that, that can be done with trees, so that's why trees don't get affected. Look, so however much I do over that bush, that's fine. But it looks like the, the flowers that you can remove, you need to move them out of the way before you do strimming. Okay, lesson learned. Lesson absolutely learned there. So for example, these two, I think, I don't know if they're meant to be weeds because I don't, I don't think they are, but you can't pick them up. So maybe I, Maybe ones that you can't pick up, it will just brush around. No. It's just taking them down. I have 15% through mowing the lawn. That's the thing that annoys me in my own garden, though, is when there's things that are planted and you've got to, like, work around them all the time. Surely that's not meant to be there. Surely that is just a weed. They're everywhere. But it doesn't say pick up as a weed and it doesn't say to it doesn't show as a weed I, I really don't know well if i get to the end and i've removed all the weeds and it's still showing some more then that might be what i have to get rid of we will have to see i asked the learnering this game right i love mowing the lawn in this game I think it's like one of these things that's left over from when I was playing House Flipper and I couldn't mow the lawn and it was horrible and all the lawns were in as long and I think it's, I think the devs did it on purpose to make you want Garden Flipper. It was their secret plan. Oh my goodness, look at the mini map. Look at all the bits I missed. really bad job under that bush as well I'm getting all the bits I don't care hey neighbors do you want me to do your lawn too oh man let me do that little tiny bit Ah, oh, stuck behind a tree. It's so bad. I can't get it. Okay, I think I've done a perfect job now around here. There's a bit that I thought was a bit of grass. That those are. Oh yeah, these are behind. Okay. Plant of boxes and all sorts. The weed showing right here. <gasps> In the flower bed. How very dare it. I hate weeds and flower beds. They're really annoying. Sure, it's this blue one. No? Hmm. The, the, do the red ones count as weeds then? Let's just get them with the, the brush cutter and see if that removes the weeds. No, it does not. There's something in that flower bed that is a weed and it will not let me pull it out. I can't get a hold on it. It keeps kind of showing up and then going away. It's really annoying. From here. Got it. Yes. I've only done 18% of all the trash apparently. But then half of it's probably hiding in the lawn, which is not very helpful. I'm so glad I don't have to individually pick these up. <gasps> oh yeah, that's where all the trash is. Eh, around the pergola. So much tidying to do. When they say an evil company came, I I don't believe. Okay. I need to get rid of these objects as well. Because they're all like clearly rubbish. 
I've got to place a couple of remove bedside table, home meal, that one. All these weird bits of junk. Right, there's some trash here as well. I'm just going to get rid of all the trash and mow the lawn and everything before I place down the new things. I always like to do it in that order. I like to have an order for things, you know? What am I getting there? Good stuff. Some weeds happen to come up with all the trash. I don't mind. All this stuff that's hiding in the grass as well. Yeah, I might come across a bit more trash when I do the, the lawn around here as well. We've done 88% of the trash. So there will be some more hiding around somewhere. Oh, the vegetable thing. Vegetable plots. Plum trees and stuff. Oh, I want to put veggies in there. Veggie garden. What a we shame. We are. We did it by hand for you. The stuff in the grass, the brush cutter will just get that. Okay. Oh my goodness. They're not weeds, they're lupins. How come lupins are, are they are they lupins though or are they foxgloves? Because foxgloves are kind of weeds. I get them in my garden a lot. They just go everywhere. So But apparently they're technically weeds, so you need to remove them. Yep. They were definitely being counted. I have a new skill point. I can do wall, wall, wall whacking, mole whacking. Yay! I am the best gardener. Fifty percent faster cleaning. That sounds amazing. And uh, fifty percent extra payment for an order. That sounds very nice. And less requirements. Oh yeah, less requirements is good because that I mean if I miss a little tiny bit. It won't mind. But you guys will mind. <laughs> it will melt your brains. I'll come back once the lawn is done and I'll grab any little extra bits of rubbish that I find. Because some of it's just hiding in the long grass. With all those nettles, lovely stuff. Oh, there's nothing worse than stingers, honestly. Except for dandelions. Because they are evil. There's going to be someone eventually who's going to start defending dandelions, you watch. But the tap roots! Tap roots are so bad! Oh, we need overgrown hedges to trim in this as well. Why is their grass so awful? Is that, oh, that's because it's been like compressed by the boxes and stuff that were on it, isn't it? Oh, bless their little hearts. Bless their wee little hearts. I love doing grass, so I'm so sad, I know, but it's really fun <laughs> and therapeutic. Makes all my problems go away when I can make the lawn nice. I might actually go and do my, my real life lawn at some point. I have to find a day when it's, well actually it's not so bad because now I have a, my big lawn mower. I can get away with a slightly damper lawn when I'm mowing it than I used to have to wait for it to be really, really, really dry. But um, yeah, it's probably better if the grass is a bit drier when I cut it. Better for the lawnmower blade and its longevity in general. You have to look after your lawnmower or, you have to, or it, it burns out on you. Well, to be fair, it was a tiny lawnmower that was expected to do a very large lawn and it lasted two years, so, you know, go Bosch, you, you make good products. But eventually it was just too much for it. Did 
The stream is not sponsored by Bosch. That just happens to be the lawnmower type I had. If Bosch would like to give me any money, I, I could do it some. Yeah. I am, I am super poor. So, so you know, if you want to sponsor me for saying your lawnmower is good, that, that's great. <laughs> but yeah, hashtag no ad. Hashtag wish I could get ads. Ah, oh, this is so nice. God, it's gonna look so good and the old people are gonna be able to sit out in the sun. I, I imagine they didn't mean sanatorium. I imagine they meant that they'd just been on some like lovely holiday somewhere. I, I don't think they'd been. Unless sanatorium doesn't mean what I think it means, but... Oh, yeah. To me, that's not a place where you have a lovely holiday. Right, let's get some of this other rubbish gone as well. I don't like all the dents in the grass from all the rubbish that's been left, though. That kind of hurts my soul a little bit. Ooh, massive bits of rubbish I managed to, to miss there. There's another big patch. 95%. That's just 95% of the trash in this area, I think. 92% of cleaning the dirt. Wow, how have I missed so much? I don't understand. So I stand here. Oh, I just need to do... Oh, sometimes you move off and onto the spaces and it doesn't realise that you've done the task until you move back on. It's a bit weird. Alrighty-ho, then. Let's do some more lawn mowing over here. And then I will check everything for weeds and things. I'll, I will replace those lavender bushes because I feel bad that I destroyed them with the brush cutter trying to get the weeds gone. Because I am a terrible gardener, apparently. Terrible gardener that destroys people's lawns. I don't deserve to get paid. Bits up there, look. Even though I don't know about them, I can't see them. It's like the dirt. Sometimes you can't see the dirt, but the mini map knows all. The mini-map is all-knowing, and it knows where every patch of dirt and every patch of unmown grass is. For it is the knower of all things. Can you tell that I'm just mowing and watching the mini-map right now? I wonder if that's obvious when you're like looking at me actually let's playing it. You'll tell because I'm mowing things you can't even see. Oh no, I haven't gone close enough to the hedgerow. Oh no, 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 no. That's bad. Let's go over that. Come here, weed. I'm here. There we are. Meow. Okay. Let's just do this. Yeah, that's a good way to just get the hedge right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bit of grass along there. You see it needed to go. A little bit there. A little bit there, apparently. There we are. Let's get that. Apparently there's some in the tree. <laughs> Supposed to know about that, am I? Oh, well, that looks nice over there. That looks lovely. Oh, doesn't that look so much better? I missed a patch there. There's a weed or some dirt or something. Ah, graffiti that I missed. Hiding behind the flowers. It was purple and the flowers are purple, to be fair. <laughs> um, I've only done 90% of the dirt. Yet it is not showing. On the minimap. Apparently there's something dirty down here. Is that a weed? I think there's a weed here. Yes. Oh, 
There's another weed in that bed. <gasps> I see it. Right. Um, now where are we? We're getting, it's looking nice now. It's starting to look good now. Uh, apparently there's some kind of dirt or weed or something here. Right here. I can't see it. Maybe I didn't wash it down enough. Let's just give it a good wash. Yeah, I think it had just like mostly gone, but not all gone. Okay. Only 85% of the way through mowing this lawn, apparently. apparently there's much, much to do still. So uh, all along there. Uh, can I grab that? Come here. There's one little patch, isn't there? It just won't budge. Right, so under these bushes and things is where a lot of it seems to be lying. Just going around looking at the mini map and grabbing any patches I haven't done already. Um, some under this tree. Seems to be a bit of a mist around this direction. And there, and in there, and down the side of this flower bed. Alright, we're good. Still only 86% through the lawn mowing, apparently. Wow. Um, what have I missed? Ha ha! This is what I missed. These are some quite simple jobs. I haven't actually done anything with like layering the patios or anything like that. I don't know if that's something that I'm gonna wanna do eventually. I've not done anything with putting bridges in or anything like that. But maybe that's something that I'll learn how to do when I'm learning to do my own designs, which might suck to start with. But I think I may need to move on to those pretty soon. I will practice on a couple of places before I design my uh, my office space because I think that will be a really nice thing to do but I, I've got to keep looking at it so it needs to be pretty perfect so I'd like rather do that when I'm more experienced like I'll make it I make something really pretty out of it hopefully yeah, I'll just go over all the patches that I clearly missed there as I am such a terrible gardener bush how are we doing for the oh i think we are done with the garden but we have not removed all the weeds so i reckon these guys are weeds but it's not telling me maybe not there but they're out of the flower bed so some weeds apparently here. Oh, right, 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 right. I know. All these things that I thought were flowers because they look a bit like lupins. And they're actually weeds. Oh, no. Which if I had the weed finder. Or I would never have known. Right, so. That is 99% of all the weeds. There will be a single weed somewhere. But it will show on my minimap. So I'm just keeping a good eye on the old minimap. Looking for the weeds. Where are you? Where are you, weed? There's one weed somewhere. Hiding. I mean, I've just been through here and done all the weeds, so I don't understand. There's going to be one just somewhere. Just hiding. It's going to really annoy me until I find it. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. It's over here. <gasps> you. <laughs> okay. So this is a completely mown and weed-free garden now. So the next thing I'm going to do is go and re uh, replace the lavender bushes that I destroyed through being a terrible gardener. So, gardening. Lavender. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a lavender plant. Can I have a lavender plant, please? Lavender? No. Mm. 
What are they then? They definitely look like lavender. I wish I could identify. Um, right, I'm going to have to go and find what this is. I'm going to have to look through all of the plants. And there are a lot of plants in this. Salvia, maybe? Not quite there. No, okay. It wasn't what it was. Veronica? Are you Veronica's? Yes. So I am replacing the Veronica's because I did terrible things. And they got destroyed. That totes wasn't my fault. Much better. Okay, there are still tasks to do, though. In the various areas. So. What do we have here? We have two medium cherry trees that need to be planted in this wee square here. Go buy two of those. One there. One there. I need to go back a little bit. Now I need to go forward a little bit. I mess these up so bad. But yeah, if you can get them in the kind of right place to start with. Now then, the next question is, do I like them there? No, I do not. Is the answer to that. I don't think they look very good with that tree. So I'm going to... Move them over to about there, I think. And move this one more towards the centre of the area. So they're kind of out of the way of that big tree. Otherwise they won't grow right. You see? Because you've got a tree there, a tree there, then a tree there and a tree there. I think that would work fine. I just want to have a look from over here and just see how that's going to look. Yeah, I think that'll look fine. Maybe that one could just come across just a, a touch like that. Now I want to see. That one needs to go a touch to the right as well. Just a bit, just a little tiny bit. I know, I know, I'm terrible. I want to make good planting decisions. This is permanent, guys. Okay, I think we're good. So once I've done this, I think oh, that's everything I need to do, technically. But I still want to do more because I want their garden to be good. I don't want it just to be adequate. We want a good, lovely, happy garden. Okay, so now when I look at these trees, I think, yeah, I think they're in a nice place. Okay, next. Oh, I need plum trees and gala apples. Well... I'm wondering what to do with that, to be honest. Um, nothing to do in here. That's fine. Is that a, oh, no, that's the photos. I was opening my photo gallery. I'm, like, trying to look at, at where... It, so, number... Oh, right. Number one here is to actually put some furniture in. So, table Sammy and armchair something or other. Anter something. Let's go. Sammy. Let's just go back to the garden and go Sammy. Table. Sammy. Table. I just want one of those, apparently. And then I want two chairs. No, uh, I can't remember how to say it. What is it? An. An. Anoter. Okay.
That's nice. By many, I want to have two. I want to have them like this. Like, so they're like kind of facing each other. And they're at an angle. I don't know why I want that. I just do. To be fair, they probably fit better like that. Okay. I like that. That's good. Okay, so we've done that one. We just need to do the, the uh, plum trees and the garlic apples. I kind of want them... They might be a bit squished here, but I don't care. Plum tree. Ah, oh, man, was it medium, small, or large? I don't think it said. Medium. Typical. I knew whichever one I chose would be wrong. Right, I only want two of those. Have these on the edges, I think. I'll have the apple trees in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to do the apple trees on the other side. I don't think that they're going to... Again, not my... Not my first choice of placement in the garden as a whole, but I kind of think that is best. I wouldn't have had that many trees in that space, personally. But that's just me. I believe this is the last the last bit we need to do for this garden. I'll see if it comes up as a as a hundred percent progress after this, or whether there's another little patch I have to do somewhere. I definitely feel like I'm doing a better job of all this now, like getting everything done, getting all the little patches of everything done, lining up the trees better, all that sort of stuff. Still got a little bit to do, I think, with like surfaces and turfing and things like that. I feel like I'm not the best at those yet. But, you know, other than that, I feel I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, let's see how that looks. Well, that looks quite nice. Yeah, I like that every time you plant a tree, it's a little different to the last one as well. Okay, apparently there is some little bit of progress that I have not done. Oh. Ah, I haven't watered it. That was all it was. I was all confused. I was like, why is it still red? I put it in right. But yeah, I had not watered it for some bizarre reason, which I had done with everything else. I like this garden. I think it looks really nice now. I am super pleased with myself. So that's uh, 6,000 for that one. Made some good bank on those two little orders. Not that, as I say, not that I need it after all the stuff I've done. I've got another gardening skill point that I can't actually use on anything. You need to add more skill points for me. And I'm yet to find a, a mole control problem, but I do have the skill for finding molehills now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Garden Flipper, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.